Tonight with our drinking water, specifically chemicals in the water, along with food and other products. Tonight, the Environmental Protection Agency is now taking a second look at their impact. News 19's Peyton Lewis has more on how DHEC and the state are preparing. Peyton? JR, harsh chemicals that repel everything from oil to water have been used in man-made products for around 80 years now. But DHEC and the EPA are looking further into the use of these chemicals and if they can make rules to regulate them. In an afternoon call on Monday, DHEC discussed PFAS and the Environmental Protection Agency's possible plan for them moving forward. This meeting established what we know about these chemicals so far. They're heat resistant. Um, oil resistant, stain resistant, and water resistant also are what make them last so long in the environment. And USC professor Susan Richardson says these forever chemicals are in everything. You know, pizza boxes, did I say that before? Um, French fry boxes, microwave popcorn bags. But at this point, scientists with the EPA are still trying to figure out how much of these chemicals is too much. For two PFAS that are found most often in the environment, compounds called PFOA and PFOS, so those two summed together are not supposed to be greater than 70 nanometers per liter, but that's just a guideline. It's not a regulation yet. Some of the graduate students in Richardson's program are researching PFAS and have been able to find 39 of them in local surface water. But the Environmental Protection Agency says there are more than 6,000 of these chemicals in existence. As scientists conduct more research, the EPA says they want to establish guidelines for the use of PFAS by manufacturers and how much is safe for people to consume. Riley Egger with the Coastal Conservation League believes it's time the EPA made rules for the use of PFAS chemicals. It's something that we've monitored for a couple years now and it's something that's of a top environmental concern because environmental issues are human health issues and I think PFAS is a prime example of that. The new guidelines must go through public comment before they're implemented. DHEC expects the rules to be ready by 2026. And tomorrow, Columbia Water will be making a presentation in front of the city about their filtration systems and talk a little bit more about how they're working to keep PFAS and other harmful substances out of our drinking water. Reporting in studio, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTX. All right, Peyton, thank you.